Back to Hannity, the RNC. They kick off their convention here in Cleveland tomorrow, and tomorrow's theme is Make America Safe Again. Here now with Reaction, Washington Times columnist Charles Hurt and American Conservative Union Chairman Matt Schlapp. Matt, I spoke at your group in the last two years. Right. In 2015, I said, I'm going to give as much airtime as many candidates and let you decide. And you did. And then I said in 2016, I'm going to give more time to all the candidates. That's right. And you decide, and I'll support the winner. Will all of you support the winner? There's still people, including former presidential candidates, not on board. What is wrong with these people that make promises and don't keep them? And they made Donald Trump sign a pledge. Yeah. Which I guess they all thought that we should have made them sign a pledge. Exactly. It doesn't make any sense. And Donald Trump has always said, I'm not making that pledge, and then they forced him to make it. But look, I don't like this because I like I'm a Midwestern guy. I'd like it if we all get along. But the fact is, I don't think this hurts Trump at all. I think these people look like crybabies. They look like it's sour, sour losers. Grapes. And I think it helps Trump run against the old system that is broken. It helps him. Old, I, I agree with that. Him. Charles, yeah. you've been a, a Trump supporter almost from day one. Yeah. And you took a lot of heat. Yeah. Me being yeah. fair to him, I took a lot of yeah. heat, you know. Um, he seems to, if you look at these polls, he's growing and growing and growing, and Hillary is just disintegrating. Why? Yeah. Well, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that he is he's uh, taking political correctness and absolutely shattered it. Isn't it refreshing? It is so refreshing. It's like and, a glass of cold ice thrown on a hot day. Yeah, and when and when he says, when he goes over the line and he says things that make me cringe, I don't care because he at and least. And when they make him cringe, yeah. it really makes me cringe. Yeah, but can I just say something? <laughs> I, as a radio talk show host, there's nothing that makes me cringe. Right. Nothing. But the idea yeah. that we would be starting right now at this point uh, of the general election, basically tied, and you've got an insider versus the outsider, you've got a disruptor versus a uh, total establishment, you've got law and order candidate mm. versus uh, you know Secretary of Benghazi. I, bring it on. That is a great place. for This has been time. probably I, I think Trump had a tough number of weeks and then he got his footing, got his messaging. Hillary's had a horrible three or four weeks now. Terrible. So this could be the worst stretch of a presidential campaign that we've seen. Now, some people who don't like Trump say with the stretch she's been through, how come he's not up mm -hmm. eight or ten points? But here's what we know about Hillary Clinton. Her negatives are in the same zone as Trump's. But hers are 20 years. They're set in concrete. They, there's not a dang thing she yeah. can do to have them come down. As we've seen with Trump, his numbers move around a little bit. Yeah. People are looking at him. They're saying, hey, is this a guy I want yeah. to be president? And also, That's what this week is about, Sean. I think do he, they want him to be president? And I think as he makes few – look, he's only in politics a year. Yeah. That is, a, you know, Pretty good. very short time. He see his learning curve. Newt mate pointed this out. is astronomical. That's his right. trajectory is insane. You don't see anybody learn he's this been, business that fast. He's been the smartest candidate on the stage. Seriously, right? Every single time. It's yeah. it's it's pretty amazing. And I if hate you were Chris Matthews, you'd probably have a thrill up your life. <laughs> Actually, I think Chris Matthews looks at Donald Trump, and people like that look at Donald Trump, and they do marvel because you know mm -hmm. the one the one thing they know is Hillary Clinton is a perfectly horrendous yeah. candidate. Isn't she the worst? She, and, and you know the question they always ask is, yeah. where is she? Yeah. yeah. She, she doesn't do anything. She, she doesn't, doesn't do, do interviews. Well, she, she called doesn't... in the Fox the other night. I'm like, oh, that's a shocker. You know? She's following what Trump does. Yeah, exactly. It's like, <laughs> I think he's in her head, you know? Who does she pick that helps her? Uh, I don't know. I mean, if she does something like the Elizabeth Warren thing, I don't, I don't think it's going to help her. I, and, and in fact, I think it's going to, that would ruin Elizabeth Warren's career, which from our perspective. By the way, Pocahontas has already ruined her career, so let's <laughs> we'll move on. I, wish, I, I really wish she'd pick some, some other name because Pocahontas was a great, po Pocahontas was a great He actually said that. He goes, Indian it's American. an insult to Pocahontas. It's a total insult. That's what he Can said. I be honest? It's not going to matter who she picks. This election is about her and the status quo in Washington. Mm -hmm. She owns Washington 100%, and that's what this election Jeb is Jeb Bush about. said in an interview the other day that oh, she's not going to build the wall. And I, I watched that, and I know Jeb is probably upset he lost. I still have re great respect for him, but I'm thinking, yeah, he's going to build the wall. And if he didn't, I'd be shocked. By the way, the funding for that wall has already gone through Congress. It's already been in these budget deals. That's true. Right? A lot of Democrats have voted for that wall. Including yeah. Hillary President Clinton. President Obama has signed President bills Obama. with that funding in yeah. it. So, Who's the person who's being deceptive in all that? By the way, the a the ACU, your group has played a huge part in the last two years in this. In this, I think that's right, and you've been a big part of. I've been honored to be there. Thank that you. we come back strong. All right, guys, good to see you. When we come.